Welcome to part four of Christian Symbolism in the Planets. I believe all things testify of Christ. My aim with this series is not to make definitive statements about specific symbolism. Rather, my goal is to view the natural world through a lens of faith and to study the scriptures from a unique perspective. In this section, we'll discuss the planet Jupiter, related scriptures, and what they teach about Jesus Christ. Let's lay the groundwork with a few basic characteristics of this planet. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest planet in the solar system. It is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium, which forms the clouds in its recognizable stripes and great red spot. It has four moons that can easily be seen through a telescope. As the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter is known as the king planet. With regards to Jupiter's large size, some scientists suggest that Jupiter's gravitational field pulls away comets and meteors that otherwise might enter the inner solar system, posing a threat to Earth. In this way, it could be said that Jupiter serves as a protector to Earth, which is the role of a just and righteous king. From this description of Jupiter, we can draw parallels to Jesus Christ, who in the scriptures is called the Prince of Peace and the King of Kings. The idea of Christ taking the role of a king is a prominent theme in scripture. Here are a few highlights. Isaiah 9 verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. While that verse doesn't use the word king specifically, phrases like Prince of Peace and the government shall be upon his shoulders hint towards that role. Revelation chapter 17 verse 14 describes Jesus as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Also in John 18 verses 36 through 37, Christ himself claims the title of King with the emphasis that his kingdom is not of this world. He came into the world to testify of the truth and to serve rather than be served. He exemplified righteousness in order to teach and build up the kingdom of righteousness. This idea of serving others and putting their needs before our own is exemplified in the way Jupiter protects Earth. Just as Jesus Christ serves as a protector and an advocate for all those who follow him. In the words of Christ, he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. See Matthew 23 verse 11 and also Luke 22 verse 26. Many of Christ's followers didn't anticipate a humble king and expected a warrior king to save them. That being said, both characteristics can be attributed to Christ who exemplifies them with perfect balance. See my essay on Christian symbolism in the planet Mars to learn more about Christ as a god of war. Now, Jupiter's size denotes its role as a king and a protector, but it also has characteristics that bring to mind a more humble nature, which I will attempt to explain next. Jupiter is visible as a bright and beautiful star to the naked eye. But telescopes reveal more detailed physical characteristics, such as the striped bands of colored clouds and the great red spot. By drawing parallels to Christ's life, specifically during the final hours of his mortal ministry, we can find meaning in these details. Before carrying the cross to Golgotha, Christ was stripped and scourged, which would result in long marks or stripes across his body. Christ submitted to this punishment, though he was guilty of no offense, so that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes we are healed. See 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24, and also Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5. Those wounds served as one of many chastisements Christ endured before his death on the cross. After he died, his body was pierced by a spear, fulfilling the prophecy that they shall look on him whom they pierced. John 19 verse 37. 
The great red spot on Jupiter could represent this piercing wound that the resurrected Savior still carries in his side, according to John chapter 20, verse 27. The physical appearance of the stripes and the red spot on Jupiter may seem unrelated to the life of Christ at first glance, but upon closer examination, they offer a powerful reminder of the passion he endured. From the stripes left by the scourging to the wound in his side, Christ's body bore the marks of his compassionate sacrifice for our sins. Interestingly, Jupiter's position as the fifth planet from the sun also serves as a testament to these wounds symbolizing the five holy wounds that our sinless chief priest and king took upon himself to redeem us from our sins. The scriptures indicate that Christ was a priest after the order of Melchizedek. See Psalms 110 verse 4. Melchizedek has origins in two Hebrew words. The first, Melech, meaning king, and the latter, Zedek, meaning righteous or just. This makes the name Melchizedek, meaning King of Righteousness, a fitting name for both Christ and perhaps the planet Jupiter. To further solidify the king symbolism in Jupiter, I can see in its four moons a representation of the four animals seen before God's throne by John the Revelator. In the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind, and the first beast was like a lion, the second beast like a calf, the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Revelation chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Biblical commentator Adam Clark suggests that the four faces are important because they represent animate creation in its utmost excellence. The lion, he says, is the mightiest of wild animals, the ox, strongest of domesticated animals, the eagle, king of all birds, and man is the highest of all creation. In other words, God's kingdom is all-encompassing. He really is the king of kings. The four moons on Jupiter can be seen as representing the four animals before God's throne in the book of Revelation, with their different characteristics and strengths. For example, the moon Io as the lion, the moon Europa as the ox, Ganymede as the man, and Callisto as the eagle. While the name Jupiter comes from the god Zeus, who was considered the king of the Greek gods and humans, to Christians, the true king of kings is Christ. Jupiter's characteristics, such as its stripes, meteor-deflecting gravity, and four moons, can remind us of Christ's humility and atonement, his protection, and ultimate authority. Whether we see Jupiter as emulating the Prince of Peace or King of Righteousness, the planet serves as a powerful reminder of Christ's sacrificial love and reign over all creation. Truly, every knee shall bow, and every crown be cast at Christ's feet. Thanks for watching. If you want to do any further study, I'll leave some resources in the description. Next time, we'll study Christian symbolism in the planet Saturn. Keep looking up, and remember, to be spiritually minded is life eternal.